output block. Now, what if I need a condition such that I need I want the modified value of a uh, modified value outside the parallel block? That's where pa last private clause helps in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that right now I'm going to uncomment these line uncomment these lines. So format uncomment. What did I do? Uh, okay, format comment lines format comment lines and then I'm going to uh, uh, uncomment these lines because this is the uh, this is the last private region okay and I'm going to uncomment these lines and okay for now let me go with let me go with this block okay let me uh, Let me, uh, you know, uncomment these re uncomment these regions as well. OMP critical and OMP ordered. I'll explain you guys in a moment what those are. So what I'm going to do, what I've done is that I've just set the thread value before last private to some th arbitrary thread value over here, and then I'm using the last private thread class over here. And then what I have here is that I just have a do loop, do loop which with i varying from one to twelve, and inside that I have two statements. Thread number equals OMP get get thread num plus hundred and then I'm printing the value of i the value of thread the active thread that is under use and the thread value over here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is at the end I'm going to print the thread number over here and for e and because of this last private each thread has its own value of thread thread num. Okay, that doesn't matter. Each thread has its own value of thread num, so it doesn't matter. So what happens? What we need is that we just need to know what happens at the end. What happens? What happens at the end? Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see. Now let me clear this up. Do you remember, I haven't init I haven't initialized thread num on the top over here. So let me run this. Okay. So what happens? What happens here is what happens here is that the last before the last uh, private. The variable which was used on the last private it's actually set to zero is actually set to zero though it's not used over here the value is being automatically set to zero and then what happens is that inside the loop ins inside the loop i value and thread value and uh, i value uh, goes along goes uh, goes randomly from 1 to 12 depending on which thread was active and how the thread how the values are indices i Indices of i divided between the threads. That's not a problem. And then thread values get printed. The thread value also changes for each value of i and everything. So it's not a problem. So it's not a pro. So this is not a problem. This is not a problem. So it just this this just works on fine. Okay. So it's uh, valuable. The thing that to be noticed is that look at the last value. The thread value after last private. The thread value before private was zero, which is surprising because we didn't define the value of the thread num here in this program right now okay but it's it was in it is set to zero and then the thread value after last private is 103 so clearly the what if you look at the 100 value of 103 this is nothing but the thread value over here which is nothing but the thread value which is nothing but the thread value over here okay so what i'm going to do is that right now let me do some more addition let me just uh, let me just put hundred plus hundred and i hundred plus i. So if I run this, check it out. Check it out. So what happens is that uh, the la thread value before z last private is zero, whereas the thread value in uh, thread thread value and uh, the thread and i during the in uh, during the parallel block parallel do block is like this. It's okay. The last one which got executed is is by the last value of uh, the last iteration which is i i equals 12 is uh, done by thread number 3 and then during that process the value of thread value of thread is 115 this which is equal to thread number which is 12 12 plus 12 for 12 plus 12 plus sorry 12 plus 100 112 plus 3 115 so the last value of last private value of uh, uh, th thread num is being is it comes out of the parallel block and into serial into the serial part so okay 
so that's what that's how parallel uh, last private is on the other hand okay since this is already initialized to z uh, set to zero let me just initialize this on the top to see what's happening now let me initialize this to let's say uh, some some in different value like 24 something okay now let me clear this and look at this run it says the thread value before last private is 24 last private is, last private is 24 but nevertheless nevertheless i mean uh, nevertheless since the value is getting modified it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it, it, it doesn't matter so if i were to print uh, so if i were to print thread num okay let's see what ha what what will be the values of thread num inside the loop so if i run this again it says thread num is 0 and then thread num is 101 and then thread num is 102 so on and so forth what i mean is doesn't matter if you if you put last private what happens is that it doesn't matter what value it had in it had before that value will be remain as it is and if the value is not present it will be initialized to zero so that's what last private does last private uh, variables uh, need not be initialized need not be initialized uh, sorry, sorry will be auto auto initial auto initialize to zero zero before you to zero before usage okay after scope the variable assumes the last value of inside the loop if you look at it this is exactly the same as the first private class except the last statement okay okay now with that with that being said now let's uh, we we don't want this now the final thing we look at the final thing we look uh, we look at is the ordered class. 